Hello, I'm Seth with Land House. Thanks for tuning in. If you missed the previous video on the camera gantry build, I removed the old system that I was toying around with and I simplified it tremendously. So now it is just a single track that will be running on both sides of the shop. So one over here and then one on this side. And uh, so today the plan is to make the cart that will be driving up and down this side here. And to do that, I have cut a piece of plywood and I'm just going to be installing these U-Groove wheels. And uh, these have a bearing inside and uh, they're quite fluid, which means they will be able to ride up and down this metal pipe just fine. And if I get them close enough, you'll see that they won't allow the pipe to jump out. So the track should be nice and secure. So we're going to build that today. And then later we will install uh, the second set of track here onto the two carts that are built to ride on this one. So the theory is that the cart will be able to drive back and forth and then side to side. So let's go ahead and start building this cart. To get started here, I want to find an upper area for one of these U-Groove wheels. Uh, get my pencil here. And let's just say somewhere around here ought to do it. I just want to drill straight through on that one and uh, go ahead and get that started. Let's see where we are in this direction also. Uh, the further out it is, the less likely it is to rack. So I think if I can place this somewhere around the one inch mark should be good. Okay, so let's go ahead and drill our first hole right there. These U-Groove wheels have a good bit of distance between the inner bearing and the outer rubber. And to overcome that distance, I'm going to be putting a bunch of washers in here. Hopefully I purchased enough of them. I'm going to do one on the back side and then get this through here. And then I should just be able to plop that in there and uh, have a nice easy flowing wheel. And it looks like I'm going to be able to have plenty of clearance in there. So now I can just come back here with a nut on the back side and get that locked down. Let's see how snug I can get this and still have it turn. Not too snug. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, let me get the other one installed over here and then we will measure out the distance needed to get the lower wheel installed. Okay, I got both those U-Groove bearings on the top and they are spinning nice and free. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this pipe down here and I guess find the spot where it has just enough tolerance to, uh, to still move freely. And then go ahead and mark that. And do that on both of these. Okay, very cool. Now I think I'm just going to freehand drill these uh, instead of using the drill press since I've already got these upper ones attached here. Now it's basically just gonna be the same thing as with the other side. Toss in a few washers in here to bring that up. One on the back side. Now I will have to loosen this back up whenever I go to put the little cart on the track. Uh, so I may just leave this one kind of loose here. Uh, just get it on there. Uh, so anyway, let's see how well it's going to work here. So as you can see, it's not going to be sliding off of that uh, little track. Now, if there's inconsistencies in the washers, I may have to uh, move one up or down a little bit. But anyway, that's going to work out so much better 
than my previous idea. Let me show you what that was. I had this idea that maybe I could use these uh, little roller bearings that were gonna be for uh, like CNC machine, uh, but they would rack so terribly that it just is not gonna work. Uh, so with this new U-Groove design, it should be so much better, so much better. Okay, I am very pleased with this design. It is going to be able to uh, take this pipe and slide there. Pipe, whoa, there you go, not gonna fall off. So uh, anyway, that is gonna be super fluid. Actually, that one's the top right there. Uh, okay, very impressed with how that's going to work. I need to build another one of these and the other track that I just showed you will uh, fit on top of this later uh, here in the middle. It has the other two uh, tracks coming off of here. Anyway, um, this is going to be a short and sweet video. I'm sick. Both kids have been throwing up for about four days now. Um, so anyway, I just didn't want to leave you hanging without any kind of content here for half a month. Um, so that's what I'm working on now. We'll go back inside and uh, go to bed. Thank you so much for watching. Part three, I should have um, all uh, both tracks done, or carts, whatever we're calling this, and then um, we'll be ready to get the, the cross piece installed. We'll have to make the uh, little carts for that as well. I have a feeling it's gonna be the exact same piece, except it will have a smaller piece between the two that comes down for our um, camera attachment. I haven't locked down that design yet, so I have to do some thinking. Anyway, I appreciate that you have watched this short video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.